Hello, all. What if I filmed all my videos this up close and personal? That would be a lot of my face. Anyway, I hope all of you are having a really wonderful first month of the year. I have read so far two books. I read The Kiss of Deception, I took a sec to remember what it was called, Kiss of Deception and The Wicked King, both of which I, I enjoyed. I enjoyed quite a bit. I have made book reviews for both of them. If you're interested, I'll link them down below. But I think I wasn't planning on it, but I might go right into the sequel to Kiss of Deception because I've heard that the sequel, both the second and the third one, are infinitely better than the first one. And I thought the first one was pretty enjoyable. I've heard the things that I didn't quite care for with the first one are not really a big deal in the second and third. So that makes me pretty pumped. I will admit that since having brought Luna home, we I've been pretty busy and I've been very busy just monitoring her. Everybody has been teasing me <laughs> and saying it's like I'm a new mom because I keep saying things like, oh, well, while she's napping, I'm gonna try to get this done. Or I have to wait until she wakes up and then goes to the bathroom to make sure I can, and I, I'm talking like she's a child. I'm very aware she's not a kid, but regardless, she does take up a good amount of time. So I've been pretty busy with taking care of her and working and doing normal human stuff. And uh, I'm probably gonna be a little bit behind with my Elantris and The Last Wish read along for this week, but I plan to get caught up next week. So I think I'm gonna start the uh, sequel, like I said, to Kiss of Deception. I'll start The Heart of Betrayal. That's a very, very intriguing title. So I'll probably start this one and then next week, or hopefully within the next few days, I can get caught up with Elantris and The Last Wish. Let's look at Luna being cute now though, because she's way better than I am. Oh, look at the polar bear. Oh, oh, Hi. piggy grunt. <laughs> Luna, <laughs> did you get it? <laughs> now you're under the couch. Luna, hey. Can you stop smushing yourself underneath furniture? <laughs> Luna! <laughs> you goof! You can't do that! You can't hide under here! You're gonna get too big! You'll get stuck! Luna, are you getting- now you're tired, aren't you? Come on! Come back out! <laughs> Look, it's a ball! This toy. Hmm? <laughs> Why did you go under the couch? Come here. There you go, almost. Mommy wants you all the way out from under the couch. Almost there. Oh. Okay, come on, almost there. <sighs> Your bully stick. Come on. Do you need help? Let me help you, okay? Let me help you. Oh, you're almost out. Okay, you got out enough to chew on your bully stick. So I'm really happy because we had a coupon for Barnes and Noble and I had a gift card for Barnes and Noble that somebody gave me for Christmas and I was hoping to get the sequel to City of Brass and the only thing was the release date was technically right after the coupon would be expired, but sometimes Barnes & Noble has new releases out a couple days before the release date, and sure enough, they had the sequel. So this cover looks so pretty in person. Obviously my lighting situation is not great right now because it's nighttime, but I really, really like this cover. But anyway, I enjoyed the first one, City of Brass. I think it had a lot of potential to set the series up. It took a while for me to get into it. It was a bit of a slow start, but that's primarily, I think, because I didn't care for the first character introduced named Nahri. But then when Prince Alizaid came into the picture, more prevalently, I then was much more interested in what was going on because I liked the 
politics of the story. And I'm hoping to get a lot more of that in this second one. I think where the second one left off was really great. I really liked the last chunk. And even though it was a slow start by the end, I was really invested. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, this one's pretty, pretty fat. I'm hoping that I'm gonna enjoy this one a lot. Also, a little update on The Heart of Betrayal. I started it, I started the audiobook, so I'm not actually sure how far I am in the physical book. At the moment, I am already excited about where this first one is starting off, but uh, I'm assuming this is the main character and she was being super annoying in the beginning and I would like it if she would stop. Other than that though, I'm excited about this sequel already and I will update you guys once I finish it. Hopefully it won't take me very long. I'm hoping to get through this pretty quick and then maybe I can do a review or a chat for it. But anyway, I hope your reading's going well. Thanks so much for watching. I know Luna likes that and I'll see you all later. Bye.